Massachusetts. As he grew up, he became known as Johnny Appleseed. Johnny's life was hard. His father left to fight the Revolutionary War when Johnny was very young. His mother and baby brother died before Johnny was two years old. By the time Johnny turned six, his father had remarried. The new family settled in Long Meadow, Massachusetts. Within ten years, there were ten new brothers and sister for, sisters for Johnny. Johnny, will you go pick some apples from the orchard? I think that I would like to make some applesauce for dinner tonight. My favorite! Sure! Johnny went out to the orchard and returned a few minutes later. He handed the apples to his mother. Tomorrow, I would like you to start picking all the apples. After all, winter will be here soon, and I want to store as many as we can in the cellar. We want to have plenty of apple butter and apple pie when it is cold and snowy. Sure, Mom. I'll do it first thing in the morning. I should have them all picked in a couple of days. I think I'll go and play now. Johnny loved to play in the woods. It was so quiet compared to his noisy house. He loved animals and just about everything in nature. The animals liked him too. One day, when Johnny was a little older, he announced to his family that he was going away. I want to travel west and plant apple trees. Two settlers are moving to Ohio, and I want them to have beautiful apple orchards like we have here. I will bring seeds from the cider mills. I'll be fine. You know, oh, I am very good at finding my way through the woods. Johnny's parents did not want him to go, but they knew that Johnny loved being outdoors and that he knew that how to take care of himself. They also knew that he loved apples and that every seed he planted turned into a wonderful apple tree. Well, be careful and don't forget to write to us. Bye, Bye Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Johnny walked hundreds of miles to the Pennsylvania forest. He cleared land and set an apple orchard. One day while he was chopping the tree, he noticed three Indians watching him curiously. Hello there. I am planting apple trees. Here, try an apple, please. Johnny became good friends with the Indians. In another time, he became a, a, a pun, upon a gang of woodsmen. They tried to get Johnny to wrestle with them, but Johnny outsmarted them. Hey, hey you! You, you like to wrestle? We, we are, are the best. best. I'll but bet you can't can beat us. I have a better idea. Let's have a tree chopping match. Let's see who can chop the most trees. That, that sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun. Johnny to build a house for himself. 
so he could live among them. But Johnny wanted to go back to the forest that he loved. However, sometimes he came back for a visit. When he was gone, people would tell their favorite stories about how Johnny about Johnny. Sometimes they would exaggerate a bit. For example, I remember when he was sleeping in a treetop hammock and chatting with the birds. I remember when a rattlesnake attacked his foot, but his feet were so tough from walking that the snake's fangs can, cannot go through. That's nothing. I remember when he tended a wounded wolf and then kept the wolf as a pet. You should have seen him playing with the bear family. As the years passed, Ohio became very crusty, so Johnny moved to Indiana. He continued to plant apple orchards there. In March of 1845, when Johnny was just over 70, he became sick for the first time in his life. He took shelter in a settler's cabin. Within a few days, he died. Curiously, Johnny's stories continued to move westward without him. People saw, said that they saw him in Illinois and Missouri. Others were certain that he had planted trees in California. In fact, just today we thought we saw someone who looked just like Johnny Appleseed. He dropped a sack 